Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my physical TBR. I actually did one of these last July, so we are in July now and I thought I would do an updated physical TBR. I want to say I have a lot of books on my physical TBR, so don't be, um, don't be shocked when this video is like very long but anyways we are just going to get into this one so in this video i'm just going to go to each bookshelf and pull off my physical tbr and then i'm going to put it back that way um everything just is at their bookshelf and it will be easier this way starting with my series bookshelf so the first three books i have on my physical tbr is the breathless trilogy i have rush the first book then I have Burn, which is the second one, and then Fever, which is the last one. This book series I haven't seen anything about. I solely got it based off of one TikTok saying it resembled Fifty Shades of Grey. Next, I have the Touch of Darkness series. I don't think I have all of the books, but I do have A Touch of Darkness, A Touch of Ruin, and then A Touch of Malice. I'm pretty sure there's at least one more. There may be two more, but I have the first three. Next that you can see here is I want to read the Shadow and Bone trilogy and then the Crooked Kingdom or Six of Crows? Six of Crows series. I have all five of those books, but I haven't read them, so I need to do that. I actually haven't read the Fifty Shades of Grey books from Christian's point of view, so I really want to read those, but I also want to read the original trilogy. I have read this, but I was in middle school or younger, so I had the host and I really want to read this one. Then a book series that I love the movie, but I've never read the books is the Me Before You trilogy. I am Me Before You, After You, and then Still Me. I want to read these so bad. And then the last few books on the shelf that I haven't read yet is the, oh gosh, from Blood and Ash series. I'm pretty sure this is the first book. I have two other of the books. I have Kingdom of Flesh and Fire and then the Crown, Crown of Gilded Bones, but I have no idea what the order is. I do know this is the first book, but I wanna read this series so badly. I just haven't brought myself to read it yet. And I also know I'm missing some of the books, so I'd have to get them. Hey guys, we're at my ladder bookshelf. So I'm gonna start with like my classics. This is my classic shelf, but it also has some like random uh, books, as you'll see, that don't fit anywhere. So the first ones I have is a Crescent City series. I thought this was just a duology, but turns out it's going to be some more, I'm pretty sure. But I have the House of Earth and Blood and then House of Sky and Breath. So they, they look very different. Maybe that's why they are a little different size wise but i really want to read both of these i actually have read a lot on the shelf so that makes me feel good but the first one or the third book i have from the shelf is the lovely bones i watched this movie but i haven't read the book i actually found this at goodwill so i really want to give this a read and i have the midnight library this had a very popular time on book talk but i still haven't read it yet my english professor actually recommended this one so i'm gonna try to give it a read next i have all this time this is a ya book written by the same authors of Five Feet Apart. I have had this for a while and just have never read it, so I want to read this. And then the last one on this shelf is 1984. I know this is a classic and everybody reads this in high school. I didn't though, and I definitely want to give it a read. Okay, moving on to this shelf, this is kind of like my thriller slash YA random books. <laughs> okay, the first book I have is Elisa Jewell, The Family Upstairs. She is one of my favorites and I actually have this sign which is so exciting. But yeah, I really need to read this one. Then I have the first two books of the Good Girl's Guide to Murder trilogy. I have that one and then Good Girl Bet Blood. I'm waiting to read these until I get the third book um, in paperbacks. That way I can just read them all straight. Okay, next I have Den of Vipers. I don't know if I'll ever read this. I'm pretty sure it's a gangster romance. Someone commented that on one of my videos from like a year ago but i picked this up oh my gosh i think i picked this up because it was popular in book talk or something but it's a dark romance oh no i need to read it but we'll see next i have the body on the bed this is a mystery i actually have this i actually have this signed it is actually set in lawrence which is my college town so i thought that was so cool that it's about the city that i live in during the school year and also i have it signed and i just think that's really cool then I have the Atlas 6. I really want to read this. I should read the new one. That way I can be ready for the rest of the series. And I have two by Penelope Douglas. I have Credence and then Birthday Girl. Again, her writing is kind of like Wattpad-y. I've read Punk 57, but I haven't read these. So 
I definitely want to read them. Changing up the angles so I can just kind of grab it and then show it. So the first three books I have is I have Love. I'm actually pretty sure this is a classic, but I just have it on my a literary fiction shelf. I also have The Virgin Suicides. This is a super popular book and movie. And then I have Women by Chloe Caldwell. Then I have two of Otessa Moshef's um, novels. I have Death in Her Hands and then Eileen. Okay, then I have Maggie O'Farrell's My Lover's Lover. Sounds super interesting. I also have the very popular novel called Bunny. Then I have Milk Fed. This one looks so cool. I love the cover. I have a short uh, collection of stories called Men Without Women. For this one's really good and looks good. I have Dolly Alterton's Ghost. This is her fiction novel. I've read her memoir. I have LA Woman by Eve Babbitt. I have Firefly Lane by Christina Hanna. This is a show that got really popular and I think I bought this probably a year ago wanting to read it because of the show. And I have The Color Purple which is a classic but I just have it on the shelf and I also have Writers and Lovers by Lily King. I have Build Your House Around My Body and then the last book I have on the shelf is Room. Okay, the last few books I have on the shelf are Two by Josie Silver. I have One Day in December and then The Two Lives of Lydia Bird. I have The No Show by Beth O'Leary. I have Circe by Madeline Miller. Then I have Arya Dane. I'm not sure how you pronounce this. My friend Libby actually gifted me this one. Then I had the first book in The Simple Wild. Okay, from my nonfiction shelf, the first book I had a heartbreaking work of Staggering Genius, All About Love by Bell Hooks, one of my favorite like feminist authors. I have Breeding Sweetgrass, this is actually a memoir. I have Game Changing Moves, Life Lessons from the Locker Room and Beyond by Chad Parks. I will teach you how to be rich. And next, this is my hard cover shelf. First one I have is Fiona and Jane. I'm pretty sure this is a short or short story collection. Then I have A Little Hope. This was just a random book of the month. Then I have The Golden Couple. This is a thriller. She said, which is called it, the little blurb says, breaking the sexual harassment story that helped ignite a movement. So I'm pretty sure this is about the Me Too case, I think. Cleopatra and Frankenstein by Coco Mellers. Over here I have The Maidens, which is the same author as The Silent Patient. The Cartographers, which is I think a mystery, I'm not really sure. Then I have Lore, which is another Greek mythology book. I have 56 Days, and then I have Ariadne in hardcover. I got this in May from last year, so it's just funny that Libby got me it for my birthday. And I still haven't read it, so. And then the last few books I have is This Girl and Point of Retreat by Colleen Hoover. This is the Slam series. I'm just missing the first book. A whole bunch of classics that are in the Twilight-like edition cover. So I have the, oh wait, actually I read this book. Emma and Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. I have A Midnight Summer's Dream and Romeo and Juliet by Shakespeare. And the last book I have is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Okay guys, that's the end of this video. Please let me know what you guys have on your physical TBR. I know I have a lot. I need to get through them before I buy any more books, but will that happen? We'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace and love. Bye guys.